Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Worthy Group. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how you can apply for CERB step by step and what is the exact eligibility criteria for CERB. So CERB is basically Canadian Emergency Response Benefit and it is for those people who cannot apply for employment insurance, that is EI, they can apply for CERB. And the main advantage of CERB is that its waiting time is really less as compared to the waiting time of EI, that is employment insurance. And on top of that, CI has said that every CERB applicant will be approved automatically whether they have qualified or not so that's a big thing guys but the catch here is if CRA find it later that the applicant wasn't eligible but he's still getting the CERB money so that particular applicant has to repay all the money during his taxes in 2020 so guys if you're eligible for CERB then only go with this plan so the first section of this video I'm gonna tell you what is the exact eligibility criteria so that you don't have to uh, give your money back uh, in 2020. And in the second section guys, I'm gonna tell you how you can apply for CERB step by step. So let's start the video guys. Hey guys, so now you can see the screen of my desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Google Chrome. And I'm going to type Canada Revenue Agency and click enter. Okay, so this is the option that we have to select guys, Canada Revenue Agency, Canada.ca. So I'm going to enter this link. Okay, so I'm sure you can see a yellow block on the top of this page. And the first option in here is Canada Emergency Response Benefit, that is CERB. So I'm going to select this link. Okay guys, so this is the main page for the CERB and they have mentioned each and everything in here which you want to know about CERB. So as I told you that the first section of the video would be regarding the eligibility criteria. So they have mentioned each and everything in here who can apply for CERB. So the first thing is, if you did not apply for CERB or never received EI benefits for the same eligibility period for which you are going to apply for CERB. Second is you have not quit your job voluntarily and you reside in Canada and you are 15 years old. And the next one is you should have earned a minimum of $5,000 income in the last 12 months guys. Next thing, if you are applying CERB for the first time, then you should, be, you should have stopped or you will stop working due to the reasons related to COVID-19 and for at least 14 days in a row during the period you are applying for you are not going to receive any kind of employment income and this is for those who are applying for subsequent CERB application so I'll request every one of you who are going to apply for CERB please go through this article properly and after that let's go with the steps how we can apply for CERB so for that you don't have to go anywhere else you just have to click apply you can see this option apply you just have to select this option apply okay guys so here to apply for CERB I have to log in into my CR account so I'm going to select this option Okay, so there are different options to log in into the CRA account. Either you can log into your bank or if you have a CRA login. So I'm going to use this option. You can use this one as well. So just for the purpose of this video, I have my own CRA login and details. So I'm going to select CRA login. So here, guys, you can see a blog in which they are showing that if you were born in Jan, February, March, then you can only apply on Mondays. April, May or June people can only apply on Tuesdays and then so on. So basically guys, this is just to decrease the traffic on the CRA website. This is nothing else. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, uh, click on CRA login. Side is a little bit slow guys. So it's gonna take a little bit time. And now they're gonna ask you for your user ID and password. So let me put mine. Okay guys, after uh, logging into your account, you will get to this page. So here, what you have to do, you have to click on apply. 
so this site can take a little bit time to load guys because there is huge traffic on the website at this time everyone is applying for CERB and EI so here they are just telling you what's the eligibility criteria we have already covered all these uh, points but I'll request every one of you once again to go through all these things and then you have to select a period for which you are going to apply for CERB so you will get only one option in here so let's select March 15 to April 11 and then you have to select next here guys you just have to certify few things that you reside in Canada and all those eligibility criteria which we discussed so what you have to do you have to select I meet all the requirements set out above and I understand that I must repay any payment to which I'm not entitled so that's what I was talking about guys at the start of this video like if you are going to apply for CRB your application will be approved automatically but if you are not eligible for it you have to repay your payments to CRA so after this I'm going to select next so here guys I already have my direct deposit information in the CRA system if yours uh, if your CRA account is not having your direct deposit information then obviously they are going to ask you and you have to put your details you have to click OK and then you have to submit that's it guys so this is how we can apply for CERB it is a very 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 simple process and you will start getting your money within few days that's what CRA is saying and it is really really beneficial guys if you're not eligible for EI so that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel and please press the bell icon to never miss any video from the worthy crew channel so thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next video